Tuesday. It is day seven of our seven square challenge, so we are almost done. This last day is going to be cardio. It's gonna be intense. I'm not gonna give any modifications, so if you find yourself not being able to quite keep up with this, um, I can answer your questions personally if you comment on the video and give you some um, modifications, but it's just too quick of a workout to be giving modifications for these moves. So if it's too intense for you, try it. And you can always take out jumping, you can take um, breaks, etc. So do what works for you. I just wanted to make this hard for people that didn't want a bit of a challenge. And since it's only seven minutes and it's cardio, I want us to really get our heart rates up fast. Best way to do that is by being really intense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set a little timer here. So we are gonna get a, a bit of a warm up in, um, unlike some of the other videos that I've done for this, this uh, video series. And again, that's because we are gonna be doing some pretty fast moves and I don't want anyone hurting themselves. So I'm just doing a jog here. You can jog side to side if you'd like. Come on my mat. Whenever I jog, I move my arms too. I don't have my arms dangling by my side or being weird. I, <laughs> I use my legs and arms together as if I was running outside because driving your elbow back helps to bring your knee forward. It's all connected, especially through the core. So side to side, jogging. Now I'm gonna bring those knees up for high knees. Picking up my pace a little bit. So I shouted in the ER yesterday. I did not faint, I did great. I learned a lot. I got to listen to two different people's lungs that were abnormal. So I got to hear somebody, let's do butt kicks, somebody who had pneumonia, got to listen to his lungs. Then I got to listen to the lungs of a woman who had a right pleural effusion. So I listened and I couldn't hear any breath sounds in the right side of her chest. And we got a chest x-ray and turns out she had a pleural effusion on the right side. So this entire lower right part of her lung was full of fluid. Her right lung was just compressed up in a tiny little part in the upper portion of her right chest cavity. So it was kind of cool to actually hear that there was diminished breath sounds there. So the air wasn't even getting down because her lung wasn't down there. So that was cool. Got to um, see a level one trauma. We had a guy come in, rodeo accident. That's all I'll say about that. It was kind of sad. And I got to listen to a woman's heart. So this is a kind of cool um, little side, side quiz. Let's open up those, open up those hips. Someone, a woman came in who had been having really heavy periods. She hadn't been to the doctor in 13 years. Her periods were normally two weeks long and she was feeling really dizzy, just out of it, weak. Turns out her hemoglobin was four. So normal range for reference for women is like 12 to 16. So her hemoglobin was incredibly low, like to the point where their doctors were kind of surprised that this person was even like up and walking around and doing all right. Um, so when your hemoglobin's low, that means you don't have very many red blood cells. And red blood cells add a lot of volume to your blood, right? Let's do some little side, side stretches here. So when I listened to her heart, I heard a pretty distinct, loud murmur. Anybody in medical school or of the medical type know why I might have heard a murmur when I listened to her heart? 
I bet nobody cares and no one's gonna comment. But <laughs> if you'd like to know, if you're curious, send me a message after you do this video. So you have to do the video first. <laughs> send me a message and I will let you know. Hint, it has something to do with the change in the viscosity of her blood. Any of my classmates should know right away what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm feeling pretty warm. I think we can go ahead and get started. I wanted to get you excited with these little teasers from my ER um, visit. So if you are also feeling warm, we're gonna get started. We have seven exercises. We're gonna do each one for a minute a piece. If you still don't feel quite warm, you can rewind, do a little bit more. You can pause, do whatever you feel like you need. I'm feeling pretty good. So we are going to start with something called 180 burpees. So essentially what's going on here is you're going to do a jump squat, 180 degrees, come down and burpee. You can add a push up if you'd like. I always add push ups on my burpees because why not? Oh yeah, these are getting your heart rate up. Land nice and soft on that jump squat. Guys, you can do it. Come on. You can take the push out up. Push up out if you need to. Oh yeah, these are rough. Whew. Last one. Come on up. Okay, we have jumping lunges. I told you this was gonna be fun. So we are alternating our jumping lunges here. Oh my gosh, what have I done to myself? <sighs> oh yeah, this is tough. After those, those squat jump things, my legs feel really heavy. <sighs> Make sure on these lunges your knee is never going in front of your toes, even if you're really tired. I'd rather you slow it down than let your form break down. Oh yeah, a few more, come on. Give me three, two, one. I'll give you a very short break. Shake it out. And we are going into side kicks, 30 seconds each side. So. We're going nice and quick here. Take me back to my days in college when I used to teach a cardio kickboxing class. It was so fun. I really enjoyed that. Leg doesn't have to come up super high. Just your most comfortable point. This is great for your obliques. And switch sides. Same thing here. Nice quick pace, remember this is cardio. This is a good move for your thighs and your booty. Keep on going. We're going down to the mat after this for some plank jacks. Three, two, one. Take it down, you're in a plank position and we're jacking it out. Note yourself next time, don't wear socks on the wood floor. My feet are sliding around. Jacks, another 
other kind of, kind of jack. So you're coming down, squat, and then up. Oh God, I wish I'd turn the heat off. It's blowing like right in my face right now. And I'm feeling dead. Find a nice pace that works for you and then just stick with it. I always say this kind of stuff doesn't hurt until you stop. And then if you try to start again, it hurts so bad that you're just done. You're done for. So try not to stop, push through. Got three, two, one. I'll shake it out. We got two more exercises. We're gonna do a little lateral shuffle here. So get nice and low. We're shuffling and shuffling. So just the distance of your mat. You're never raising that booty up. So it's kind of like you start in a chair squat position, shuffle it over like a crab, and then chair squat other side. Not standing up straight. Sticking my butt out behind me. Weight is in the balls of my feet here. I'm really quick on my feet. down a little earthy for these last 20 seconds. Take it down lower. Try to go a little faster. One more and we're done on the ground. Last thing, suitcases. We're gonna make them quick. So you're down, almost in a crunch position with the legs in front of you and you fold back up. Down, fold it up. Lower back on the floor the whole time. Upper back never touches the floor. Can be here too. You don't have to hold the arms in front of you. Really try to snap it closed. Bring those knees to the chest quickly. Quick, quick. Quick and then control it down. Quick, control it down. Almost done, guys. 10 seconds. Man, my leggings are covered in olive hair. I hope you can't see it in the video. It's embarrassing. Last one, let's just hold it here. Ooh, a flutter. We're done. Only seven minutes. We worked hard the entire time. Let's come on up. Shake out those legs a little bit. Shake out the arms. And bringing our heart rate down a bit. Anybody have an idea for why, why you might hear a murmur in someone who's anemic? Let me know. By the way, she was iron deficient. So there was iron deficiency anemia. There's a whole other slew of anemias that you can have. And they all mean you're not getting enough oxygen to your tissues. And iron deficient anemia, it's because you can't make the hemoglobin because you need iron to make hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is stored in the red blood cells. If you don't have enough iron to make enough hemoglobin, you don't have enough hemoglobin to put in the red blood cells, you don't have enough red blood cells to carry the oxygen to your body tissues that need it. So that's one of the most simple and most common anemias around the entire world. Something like a third of the world's population, I think one to three billion people are, have iron deficient anemia, mostly women, because of the blood loss from this menstruation and mostly in developing countries where they don't get enough iron containing foods in their diet. So foods that are really high in iron, of course, are meats, especially red meats. So that red color you see is literally the heme. So heme is red. 
and any meat that's red, you're actually seeing that iron, which is pretty cool. Um, vegetables also, certain vegetables can also get a pretty good amount of iron from them. So things like spinach, your leafy greens, you're not as efficient at, as absorbing iron from plants as you are from animals though. Heme iron is more readily observable than non-heme iron or ferric iron. But one thing that does help with the absorption of iron is acid and vitamin C. So vitamin C is ascorbic acid. And if you eat, um, eat your leafy greens with a squeeze of citrus on top, that's actually really gonna help with your absorption of iron. So make a lemon vinaigrette next time you make a spinach salad. Oh yeah, this feels good. I'm sweating, guys. After that first exercise, I was like, oh my gosh, maybe I should have changed the order and not had the jumping lunges right after the burpees, but I did it. I hope you did it too. <laughs> All right, let's come down to the mat. We're gonna do extra stretching today. This video is longer than seven minutes, screw it. <sighs> Stretch out those hips. Is anyone sore from the previous videos? Had some feedback that someone felt their arms and their chest a bit, which is good. I feel like I felt my shoulders a little. And switch sides. This feels good. So seven squared, done. Now you have seven videos that you can choose from. Make your own little workout at home. Say you have 30 minutes to get a workout in. You can choose three or four of the videos that you wanna target, that body part. Do them all in a row and be on your merry way. That's kind of my intention for this. Just start with one, choose one video, do it. Promise you're gonna feel like you want a little bit more. So, I do not know what's coming next. Let me know what types of exercises that you want to see more of. Um, you can send me messages on Instagram, you can comment below the video on YouTube, you can comment directly on my blog, however you wanna reach me. I love to hear feedback and I love to hear ideas too. So tell me what you wanna see and I will try to do it. <laughs> All right guys, thank you for doing seven squared. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Have an awesome week.